go to Grandma's house and knock on the door. She's waiting for this food. But there's one thing more. Never leave the path. No, don't ever stray. It's ever so important. Don't go another way. The path keeps you safe. It makes the way clear. So stay on the path and don't leave, my dear. <laughs> Little Red took the basket, then put on her hood. She peeked at the yummy food. It sure looked good. She saw a woodcutter sharpening his axe. And was that her own mother playing the sax? Nah. She scootered onto Grandma's. She thought, I'm nearly there. But then she heard a sound ringing through the air. A little way off the path, she heard Low growl. She started off the path, but could picture Mother's scowl. What was in shadows just off the trail? Red left her scooter. She could just glimpse a tail. She walked clear off the path to where she could see a big, bad wolf leaning up against a tree. The wolf had sharp teeth, big ears, and big eyes, pointy claws, fluffy tail. What a surprise. Dear child, asked the wolf, what is in the hamper? Where are you taking it? Who will you pamper? Oh, you mean this basket? Asked Little Red. I'm taking it to Grandma. Her place is just ahead. Little Red retrieved her scooter and pushed up her hood. She wondered what would happen since she hadn't been good. Little Red scootered on, but little did she know, the wolf ran up ahead to Grandma's abode. The wolf ran in and locked Grandma in the shed, threw on Grandma's nightgown, and climbed into her bed. Soon Little Red knocked. The wolf called through the door. Come in, my dear. Red stepped onto the floor. She looked at her grandma lying down in bed. Grandma didn't look right. So Little Red said, My oh my, Grandma, you've got such big ears. Yes, replied the wolf. They help me to hear. Grandma, dear Grandma, you have such large eyes. Yes, I can see you better, the wolf improvised. But Grandma, you know, your teeth look kind of funny. They're nice and sharp for eating. They help me fill my tummy. Now give me that basket. I want it all, you know. Red turned and she ran and she cried, Wolf, no! This basket's for my grandma. What did you do to her? Please, tell me where I'll find her, you big meanie with fur. Just then, in walked grandma and a man in a jacket. The woodcutter who'd happened to hear all the racket. Ah! This wolf is just hungry. He wants some food to eat. We've got plenty. Good food and lots of treats. When they had finished, grandma turned to Little Red. Sweetheart, do you remember what your mother said? Never leave the path. No, don't ever stray. It's ever so important. Don't go another way. The path keeps you safe. It makes the way clear. So stay on the path and don't leave, my dear. <laughs> Red, you were lucky. This wolf was rather nice. But not all are so friendly, so heed your mom's advice. Stay safe on the path. And there's one thing more. If you hadn't left the path, I'd still have a shed door. Sorry, Grandma, Wolf said. I was just so hungry. I'll work for the woodcutter and give you the money. I don't need money, Wolf. Just help clean up this mess. And I think you're forgetting to give me back my dress. The <laughs> end. 
the itsy bitsy spider. <laughs>